The Mogao Caves are a significant treasure of ancient Chinese civilization, serving as witnesses to the exchange of different civilizations along the Silk Road. It has been listed as a World Heritage Site since 1987. The Moga Caves are situated in the Dunhuang oasis of Gansu province. The name Moga translates to the topping of the desert. The caves were used as places for Buddhist monks to engage in their practices, dedicating themselves to the Buddhist belief. The carvings in the Moga Caves are a testament to show the sincerity of Buddhist practices and the deep respect for the Buddha. According to the documents from the Tang Dynasty, a monk named Yue Zun who dedicated himself to the Buddhism and wandered throughout various regions, while traveling in the middle of the Sangwei Mountains and the seeing sand dunes of Dunhuang, he witnessed a golden glow on the opposite cliffs, accompanied by the appearance of a thousand Buddhas. It suddenly dawned on him that this must be a holy land for Buddhists to practice the Buddha Dharma. With this realization, Yue Zun decided to carve the very first cave in the history of Dunhua, and this took place in the year 366 AD, during the 60 States period. From then till the Yuan Dynasty, cave carvings persisted for 1,000 years, the later generations named it Mogao Caves in memory of the contribution made by Yue Zun, who carved the first cave. The Mogao Caves presently preserve 735 caves, housing approximately 45,000 square meters of wall paintings and over 2,400 painted sculptures placing them in a high-ranking historical position among Grotto's cultures. The Moga Caves are divided into a south area and a north area. The south area contains 492 caves, which were used as places of worship for Buddha. The north area has 243 caves, which were used as living quarters for monks and craftsmen. The Mogao Caves stand as representatives of a long history and rich cultures, having endured through more than 10 different dynasties, including the 16 states, the Northern Wei Dynasty, the Western Wei Dynasty, the Northern Zhou Dynasty, the Sui Dynasty, the Tang Dynasty, the Five Dynasties, the Song Dynasty, the Western Xia Dynasty, the Yuan Dynasty and others. It became the focal point for the spread of Buddhist culture, housing an abundance of murals, statues, Buddhist texts, buildings and other cultural relics, all possessing significant historical and cultural value. Many of the Dunhuang cultural relics were illegally transferred overseas during the late Qin Dynasty. The question arises, why was a Taoist named Wang Yuanlu identified as the chief culprit? What actions did he undertake in this regard? And why have later generations passed different judgments on him? Stay tuned and we will delve into these questions in the next episode.